Next month, the all-new Blake Refund Bureau website will launch, but the money the state will hand out is just part of the bigger story. Today, Fox 13 is getting new data on people who've gained their freedom. Fox 13's Matthew Smith has been tracking this story. And Matt, it all starts with the ruling in court. And since then, some of the actions have been unprecedented. Yes, so the Blake decision essentially said a law used to put folks away for small amounts of drug possession was unconstitutional. Now you've got refunds for people that were convicted of past crimes, a new law to replace the old one, not to mention this had an impact on jails and prisons. There wasn't a blueprint for it. Judge Laura Raquel Me says the Blake decision would impact more people than any court or group could have imagined. Back in 2021, they didn't even have estimates. Resentencing was identified as being the most urgent of all of the topics because we knew that there were pre people who were actively serving sentences in jails or prison on these charges and that we were going to need to address that. By the Department of Corrections count, 1,336 people were released immediately within 90 days of the changes in 2021. Interestingly, there's groups still eligible for their sentences to be tossed, including 410 people that cut off contact with CCOs, meaning they've now got a warrant, but they're technically eligible for these convictions to be vacated. There's some behind bars that could still go through resentencing, too. They would get a lesser sentence. What's known as the Blake Triage Team has estimated that fewer than 1,000 people could still benefit, meaning they could get a shorter sentence, though the number is a bit harder to pin down given a number of factors in this, including criminal history. It's estimated that there's about 300,000 um, Blake-related convictions. And as Robin Zimmerman, the senior communications officer with the Administrative Office of Courts, explains, there's still the issue of refunds. Uh, bottom line, on top of the resentencing efforts over the past two years, there's been roughly $8 million refunded to individuals, and tens of millions more are set to be returned when the Bureau launches a new website next month. Uh, we have a non-unified court system, which means we have 39 counties and 39 different systems. And so if we're going to tackle this from a statewide approach, the only way to really go about doing that is to centralize it and the administrative office of the courts is the centralized agency for the court system in Washington state. So we close with one more big number, 200,000. That's the estimated number of people who are eligible to have old drug convictions tossed out and likely they'll be eligible for those refunds. In the newsroom, Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.